Months of negotiations, union employees at McKenzie Willamette Medical Center are threatening a strike if they cannot reach an agreement with management. Right now, they don't have a deadline to reach a deal, but as KZI 9 News reporter Avita Garza reports, some employees say the process is taking a toll on them and their patients. Alejandra Garcia has been working at McKenzie Willamette Medical Center in Springfield as a nursing assistant for the last 17 years. I think we're like family, frankly. She says it's a great place to work with a lot of support from her coworkers. But she also says there's been a lot of changes in recent years and not all of them have been for the better. When we have a lot of turnover, I can see the lack of experience. I can see the change in patient care, lack of continuity. That's why 400 members of the SEIU Local 49 are fighting for a new contract. The biggest issue, more money. With higher wages, union members say the hospital will be able to keep quality employees, which will be better for patients in the long run. That, those are kind of the biggest issues in our contract right now that we're fighting over is having the ability to provide the best staffing and the wages to back that up because they kind of go hand in hand. Union members here at McKenzie Willamette Hospital tell me they've been negotiating this contract for the last three months and today feels like the first time they've gotten anywhere with management. On Monday night, the union membership authorized a strike if a deal can't be reached. Last time McKenzie Willamette workers went on strike was in October 2014, which lasted three days. We try to stand up for our caregivers. You know, nobody likes to ask for, say, better working conditions or we don't like to complain. Things happen. They tell me they're doing everything they can to avoid a strike, but they will if they have to, because in the end, it's all about the patients. Reporting in Springfield, Avita Garza, KEZI 9 News. We are